Go. Ow, that hurt. Wait. Where did you come from? Well. Hello and hello again. This is Tibblewinkles and I just killed myself a Spaniard. Okay, let's grab all that. Longbow arrows. Well. Thank you for your arrows. Well. Last time we just figured out that this guy killed a guy who killed his sister and things were very happy. I hear a jingly. Jingly. Oh. Well. It seems like I can reach this here fort. What is it called? Fort Hope. Well. Let's hope it's a better place. Let's just go. How far do I have to go? Not too far. Well, let's see. Uh, this is a pretty okay area. Well, what do we have to worry about here? We got some hooting. Oh, what's this? Burning men. Okay, with arrows. Okay, got you. Ah. Oh no, you don't. Nah. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I've been spamming a lot of my arrows to no good effect. Okay, let's cut. So that, those sort of owl hooting sounds are in fact the burning men. Okay, let's, let's have a, whoa! Oh, it's one of those crate spiders. Well, thank you, you gave me a silver fork. Very useful. Now where do I go? What are you? Yeah, um, you don't look like a generic spider. Hello. There we go. Okay, let's deal with these guys. Okay, long range shot. Go. Did I just bounce off one of you guys? Oh, no. Boop. Okay, you will not shoot at me. Come on. Okay. Mm, no, this is not good. Explosive. Okay. Probably not the best thing to do. I probably attracted several more, but it doesn't seem like they're coming. No, let's see. Clue. Dug up a brown leather uh, lapis scabbard with intricate silver buckles and fittings. The shape that protected its tip is missing. Oh, there we go. Is that a shape? A great quantity of blood seeped into the soil here. Hmm. But there's a thing over there. Hmm. Let's go check that check out that thing first. Where where is it? There it is. Pretty sure it just take a few moments. Okay, got this letter. <clears throat> Today I heard a story about a vain woman who fancied herself beautiful above all women. She coveted jewellery and trinkets to make herself more desirable when she preened and posed. Many young men wooed her, but she was only interested in the affections of the strongest, most prosperous suitors. One day she overheard a group of old crones talking about three brothers who lived alone in the deep forest. They were fearless hunters and mighty warriors, and said to be handsome above all men. The woman demanded to know where she might find these brothers, but the crones told her she should stay far away from them, for they were as cruel and vicious as they were cunning and capable. Okay, let's get to the next plate. 
but she insisted on knowing and was quickly on her way to find the brothers. She was still walking when darkness fell, but soon she saw a fire ahead and made her way to it. Sure enough, around it sat three of the finest men she had ever beheld. She walked towards the firelight to announce herself, but the brothers fell upon her at once, ravishing her like the beasts they were so that her screams carried through the forest. Oh dear. She woke early the following morning in terrible pain, bloody and bruised and stripped of pride. The brothers lay sprawled upon the grass in deep and carefree slender, so she took up an axe and hacked off their heads one by one. She returned to the crones who had told her of the brothers and hacked them to death, then wandered through the village hacking apart everyone she met until finally several hunters managed to bring her down. Okay, that was a that was a really long-winded one. I, there's no breaks there to take a breath. So powerful was her anger that it could barely restrain her. So one of them grabbed up the axe and struck off her head. Still, she seethed and raged with such ferocity that there was no choice but to cut off her limbs. But still the parts of her writhed with murderous intent. Finally, they dug a great hole. Inside the hole, they built a great fire. They cast all the pieces of her into the flames, but when they saw that it, weren't, that it wouldn't burn, they covered over the hole with soil and heavy stones, and placed powerful charms in a circle around it to warn all who pass near. It is said that if you go to where she lies, you can feel the earth tremble with her rage. I love stories like these. Okay. Hmm. It's a grave. Richard Prodger, killed by savages. Tribesmen, tribesmen, that's the name. Don't call them savages. Hey look, spiders. Never thought they'll be roaming free now. Ah, uh. uh, a giant spider. Well, let's take care of the small ones. Hmm. This is actually pretty concerning. Stay at a distance. Okay. As long as you keep that distance and allow me to pepper you with arrows, we're in good terms. I know that sound, and it's coming from there, and it's one of those burning men. Or men to burn because they sort of set themselves alight when they see something to kill. Okay, we're near, we're near. Come on. Okay, over this pile of rocks and we should have our next clue. Hello. I knew it. I knew it. Okay then, let's see. Who's worth shooting? You're worth shooting because... Kaboom! Shit. Come on. Oh no you don't. Mm. Okay, gotcha. And you didn't land a hit. Whew. What's that? I don't want to go too near it. I want to go to the next clue. Okay, let's go. To the next clue. I don't like you. Okay then. What's my out? Did you just... No! Oh. Where did my arrow go? Let's dig this. Dug up a silver locket with a broken chain. It contains an image of the saviour. The initials PM I inscribed on the back. Well, how about you? The remains of a woman who appears to have been bound to the tree. There are signs that she was savaged by wild beasts, though whether she was alive or dead by then is unclear. Oh dear. Well, there's a little trolley. 
the cart seems to have become stuck in the mud. Okay, well, hmm. I don't like the implications here. Nope. Okay, this seems like the right place to go. Uh, don't make me moral in this. Oh, there's a secondary path. Okay, this looks like... What What flag is that? I can't quite tell, but it does... It, it's not the English insignia. Nicholas Tucker rests here. Well, it seems like you had a rather peaceful death, so uh, go away. How many of you are there? Okay, get rid of you. Ugh, you guys are pretty creepy. What? Where's my arrows? Did I just risk? Yeah, let's grab that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of arrows. What? Did you just... That's an entirely different ash figure that I fought. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's one. Boom. Okay. Take. Oh, there's a short bow arrows. Any more? Pretty sure there's at least one more. Come on. Come out. Oh, there you are. Boom. Oh, you dodge. Oh, this is for Tope. Let's read this little sheet. Page scrap. When you would not grant him audience, Griffin May travelled to my home to accost me with his usual litany of complaints, delivered with his usual wearisome fervour. It was all I could do to send him on his way before dark, lest he think to impose upon my hospitality for the night. Well, it seems like this Griffin May has uh, some uh, concerns. I remember shooting a longbow arrow somewhere around here, and now I forgot. Oh well, I do have enough money to purchase more. Okay. Oh, there is a shiny around here. Shiny. Oh, it's right there at the entrance. Clue. Dug up an ornamental silver shape for a rapier scabbard. Oh. Oh. Well. A noose hangs from the crossbeam. That's, uh... Uh... Yeah, noose on a cross meme. It is no heathen curse that afflicts us, it is punishment from God. For we parlay with his enemies when we should strike them down. We must not fear them, even if every last savage rises against us, for God is with us. Right. You are rather... Hmm. I need to get a bell. And I need to ring the bell. Hello, Jingle. I, su I suspect the missing bell was taken by Morris Abbott, for he has often complained that its peeling unsettles the creatures of the forest and keeps them from his snares, though it is more likely that reeking pipe he insists on smoking. 
Can it be chance that the bell vanished the very morning he left with a cart of supplies to return his, to his cabin in the woods? Be wary that he doesn't try to steal the other bell upon his next visit. So there's a cabin nearby. Well, there's a path that goes around here up there, so maybe that's where I should go. So, keep an eye out for a... Well, I don't need to keep an eye out for anything, right? Yeah, well... The bell was right there, but there's another bell. So I'm going to have to keep my eye out for that bell. But let's go and do a little ding. There we go. Replace the bell. Ding. Wow, what a welcome party. Hello to you. Hello to you. Hopefully there's no more. Okay, wait for the reload to happen. And wait for the reload to happen here. This should take a bit less. Mm. Nope. Okay, let's uh, go here. I am hunted and haunted in equal measure. I have sustained wounds and bruises to my body and my pride. Yet still I have managed to... Damn it, I was reading. Damn it. Ah, screw it. Got myself a quality longbow. Because let's just be quality about it. Okay, let's see. Where shall we go? Well, it looks like we're going a northern direction. And we're going to have a, a lot of those silver schools wandering about. Jolly that. Common musket. Fully loaded, fully loaded, fully... Okay, you want me to prepare for a fight? Yeah, I can prepare for a fight. Let's... Hmm. Why do you always hype me up for absolutely nothing? You do look rather bored, so I'm gonna let it off for now. Let it slide. Yeah, that's, that's the correct terminology. Well, hello there. Goodbye. Where are... Hello. Boom. Damn it. Stop leaning. It's very hard to shoot you when you lean. Anyway, what's this? Explosives? Explosives. Okay. Eh, uh, jolly. Yes. Hmm. Very nice. Okay. I am prepared for this. Okay, you go from the top. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. You can go. Oh, you know what? Boom. For a moment, I thought that was a new noise, but it's one of you guys. Now that was what I was looking for. You know, fights. Skeletons! Silver schools! Now, that is much better. Thank you, Tism. Longbow arrows? Oh, tomahawk harness! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! I can carry two tomahawks!
Hmm. Yeah, that's a good distance away. Okay, what do we have in here? Skeleton. Skeleton. No skeleton. Okay. Let us proceed. Are you a explosive? Explosives! I can do with those. Hello. Anybody here for me to shoot? Oh, you're right on my ear, but I believe it's right over there. Wait, 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 what are you? Another explosive? Can I carry... Oh, I'm carrying four right now. Carry five. Okay, then. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Do you not hear the screams? Terrible, wretched screams? I do not. Strange. They have fallen silent. Or could it be that I dreamed them? My dreams are troubled of late, but where am I? How did I come to be here? The sound of the bell will guide you home. Well, let me guess. Well, I thought it would lead me back to the fort, but seems like there's another thing to do before we do that. I like this uh, listening thing because it allows you to um, keep your eyes on the game rather than uh, like sort of uh, tabs about okay I meant uh, like it prevents you from having to stare at the minimap which sort of detracts you from immersion okay now is now is a good time to do one of those explodey things ow Okay. You know what? Tomahawk to... I was about to say, like, for a Tomahawk to uh, conclude the fight, but uh, kind of uh, failed on that last shot. Good fight. Thank you. GG. Hello. Yeah, another ghost. Are you going to um, ask for directions? I have lost my way. Follow the sound of the bell. No, it has to be one of these, right? Okay, let's do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's one. Okay. Yeah! Oh, okay. That was an okay fight. I'll accept it. Okay. We shall start with you. I believe you have a great mustache. Where is Roger Emery? Where did you last see him? We wandered away from the path. Down the hill from the fort. I remember he was holding his scabbard so I could admire it. Boasting about the quality of his rapier. Saying it was a finer weapon than I'd ever own. Who are you? I am Oswin Ford. Do you recognise this scabbard? I remember Roger Emery dropped it and the shape broke off. I told him it was bad luck for it was a handsome scabbard. I found this scabbard shape by the gate. I remember Isabel opened her hand. Oh? Oh, I remember Isabel opened her hand and it fell to the ground. I told her to cheer up, for her father would be glad to see her. I wanted her to look at me, but she wouldn't. I wanted to see her in the eye. Anything else? No. What? Wait. 
There's something... No, I talked to you, right? Yes. <clears throat> Where is my wife and my daughter? What are her names? My wife is Philippa, and Alison is my daughter. Who are you? I am James Markley. Where did you last see Philippa? I remember I was walking across the yard just after dusk. I heard her speak my name and I spun. Startled, I saw her standing by the gate in the firelight. Where did you, where did you last see Alison? I remember her saying goodnight to me as I sat at my desk, writing an urgent letter. I could barely make her out in a doorway by the light of the lantern. She lingered for a moment longer, then disappeared into the shadow. She was gone in the morning. She left a note saying that she was... Uh, she left a note saying she was going to find her sister. Simon Holt went with her. I sent Clement White and two others after them. This locket is inscribed with your wife's initials. It is hers. It was given to her as a gift by my late mother. God rest her. I found it near the remains of a woman who had been bound to a tree. Then she is truly dead. I remember hearing her speak my name as I walked across the yard after dusk. I spun startled and saw her standing by the gate in the firelight. She turned and walked into the night but I did not follow, for I feared it could only be a phantom come to lure me into my doom. Righto, well. Ooh. Hello there, are you... New Sky? Where was my father? Where did you last see him? In a field. I remember him clutching his scabbard to him. I saw that it was damaged. He was whispering something. Something important. Is this the shape from his scabbard? Yes. Then you are Isabel Emery. Yes. Leave. Hello. Up. Go away. Oh, you're almost dead. Tomahawk, go. You know what? Let's try a tomahawk on you. Boom. Oh. Hmm. Sadly, I kind of got hit a few times. Uh, never mind. I did all right. Hello, sir. Did you lose your head? Isabel. Is this your scabbard? Yes. Then you are Roger Emery. Yes, I remember. What happened? I remember she leaned close to me. She was crying. I told her to smile for me. I reached out to wipe away her tears. It took all my courage, all my strength. A woman's scarf, crusted with dried blood. Eh. More story time. Your father remembers wiping away your tears. He told me to smile. He told me to be strong. I found this bloody scarf. I remember kneeling over him where he lay there. Uh, I remember kneeling over him where he lay face down in the dirt. I pulled off my scarf and pressed it against the wound to try to stop the blood from spilling out of him. He was clutching his scabbard to him. I saw it was damaged and that his sword was still sheathed. He hadn't even drawn it. He was whispering something, something important. It was the name of his murderer. I begged him not to die, but he was already gone. After a time, I drew out his sword and walked up to the path to the fort to kill Oswin Ford. Oswin, I found your murderer. Isabel Emery tried to kill you? She did. I remember the men pulling her away from me. 
The blade of the rapier had struck my belt, which spared me a more grievous wound, but the pain was still immense. Isabel cursed me as a murderer and a coward. I remembered how when I'd thrust my sword into Roger Emery's spine, he dropped his scabbard and his shape broke off. I told him it was bad luck, for it was a handsome scabbard. Then I pulled my blade free and watched him drop to his knees. I told him that if you mean to duel a man you deem a coward and a cur, you should keep your guard up lest he seek to give you a dishonourable death. Then I left him there and walked back to the fort. Isabel must have found him before he died. When I kicked away the stool she was standing on, the rope went taut and she swung from the gate. Slowly strangling, she opened her hand and the shape from her father's scabbard fell to the ground. I told her to cheer up, for her father would be glad to see her. I wanted her to look at me, but she wouldn't. I wanted to see her in eyes, uh, I wanted to see in her eyes. Well, isn't this jolly? Okay, there's more outside of the gate. The gate, I mean the fort. Hmm. Let's do this. It's one of this, eh? Eh? Hmm. The wind has shifted, dispersing the stench of corruption from the area. I see a little... Ha, ah, I knew it. You're the next person. Let's do this. Oh. You're the lady. Where is Tabitha? Who is Tabitha? My daughter. I was sitting beside the, their bedside. Alison was asleep already, but Tabitha seemed restless. I brushed the hair from her face and she smiled at me. I hummed the lullaby I had sung since they were both girls, and soon she was fast asleep. I suppose I nodded off sitting there, for I woke shivering in the dark, and then I realised Tabitha was gone. We found no trace of her. The sentries swore they had not seen her, but her clothing was gone. My husband rode into the forest to search for her, but he could not find her. Do you recognise this locket? It is mine. Then you must be Philippa Markley. Yes. What happened to you? I remember telling my husband that I wanted to see Tabitha again. He said she was never coming home. Well, time to send myself back to memory lane. Dup, 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 dup. You there, what do you have to say for yourself? James Markley, it seems you have two daughters. I did once, but Tabitha is not my daughter anymore. I cast her out from my family. Why? She ran off to the savages. Then that's why you said she wasn't coming home. Philippa confessed that she knew Tabitha was fond of a savage boy. That Tabitha had made a pendant from an arrowhead he had given to her. That she sometimes left the fort with him alone, without chaperon or, an, or escort. My wife had hidden these things from me. She had lied to me. I bound her to a tree deep in the forest where no one would hear her screaming when the beasts came for her. I told her it was the price of treason. Well, 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 First, let's just talk to the maiden in red before I start flipping out. Maiden. Hello, maiden. Let's drink first. Good refreshing water to clear the mind before I start flipping out even more. Okay, let's show you the events of today. It was here that I last saw my sister. I remember waking in the darkness. I felt her trembling beside me and realised she was crying. She wouldn't tell me why. She said I wouldn't understand. The next morning she was gone. No one had seen her. There was no trace of her. 
She never would have left without telling me. She would have said goodbye. Do you recognize this silver locket? Yes, it was my mother's. I'm sure of it. Then you are Alison Markley, daughter of James and Philippa, sister of Tabitha. I remember now. Why couldn't I think of it before? Okay, we finally know the name of Alison Markley, or the maiden in red. Your father said that Tabitha ran off to the Indians. Tabitha was very taken with an Indian boy. She sometimes snuck away to see him, but she always returned. You went into the woods to find your sister. I could feel that she was suffering, that she needed me. Nobody believed me. I begged my father to search for her again, to take me with him. He refused. I remember him sitting at his desk by faint lantern night, light, sorry, scribbling fiercely with a quill. I called good night from the doorway. He looked up at me, but did not speak. I knew he was still angry that I had mentioned Tabitha, so I turned away and didn't look back. Your father killed your mother. That cannot be. She didn't tell him that Tabitha was in love with an Indian. I didn't think she knew. I have learned the fate of a wraith. What did you learn? Oswin Ford cheated in a duel against Roger Emery to avenge his pride. How can a man avenge his pride by sullying it? It seems Isabel Emery has, was hanged for trying to kill Ford with her father's blade. Though I pity her, it was foolish of her to think she would please her father by resorting to tre uh, treachery when it was treachery that killed him. I have a gift for you. What is it? This silver locket that belonged to your mother. It is a precious gift. You have my thanks. Well, I guess it's the only gift that you accepted without saying anything. Well, or asking me why. Well, at least we figured out that you are called Alison um, Markley. Oh, let's read this as well. I was frightened to move here, but I found I was happier here than Fort St. George for a while, at least. Well... I actually don't feel angry anymore. At least we have what seems to be an alive woman, and we fi found out her name, and we gave her back her mother's pendant. So, well, locket that is, it's a locket. Well, it's all good then. Sort of. That doesn't quite excuse it, all the other stuff that the other people are doing and... Uh, rape, putting the blame on other people, blame on blame, killing another guy for killing your sister, rather than, like, death by fair trial or something like that, at least. And then somebody cheating and on a duel and the lady gets pissed off and tries to kill him. But nobody knew any better, so decided to hang her. And I don't know how he died, but certainly he was pretty smug about it. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching. If I did a good job, give us a thumbs up. Any thoughts, please leave them in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in our next adventure. Press start. I believe I found your score. You are most generous. Please accept it. was the most gentlemanly ghost I have encountered so far thus in this game.